How's it going, everyone? Maryland here! That's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. So, let's just see if the key works. Yeah, it looks like it does just fine. That's great. But there's one problem, and that's I haven't trained up yet. And if there's one thing I've learned, it is you cannot just get through there without training. You know, I think I underestimated the last gym. I probably could have just had a better time if I just would have gained two levels. One hit point! That was all I needed. So one level would have done it. So I'd much rather get this whole team up to 46 or even 47. I'm going to need to be training anyway. So, yeah. Um, that being said, I have a ways to go. So, I'm probably not gonna do a montage again. I'm sorry, it's just when you're dealing with, like, hours of training, it doesn't really serve much point. And it just takes up a ton of hard drive space, so... Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna get that done, and I will see you guys when I'm finished training, and we're gonna hit the gym. Alrighty, I am done training. Oh my gosh, that took another... I don't know, I want to say two and a half hours, maybe three hours, but yeah, I got everyone up to level 47. I really don't want to take too many chances here, so yeah, and also the fact that I don't really have to fight any of the gym trainers, that is kind of nice, so I figured I might as well take the opportunity to get everyone up to 47, because pretty much right afterwards we're going to have to fight against Giovanni. I know, spoilers, right? <laughs> yeah, come on, this is an old game, you know. Okay, anyway, before I continue, though, there's something that I probably should have picked up. So, yeah, there's actually a few encounters that I could get. And I only need one in order to get the amulet coin, which takes 40 Pokemon registered on your Pokedex. So, Fuchsia City, that's a Pokemon encounter I haven't gotten yet. In fact, actually, for that matter... Did I ever get that item over here? I feel like I'm forgetting. Like, I think I forgot about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get it someday. And, well, I don't have anyone with strength. Oh, that's a shame too, because that's a rare candy. Well, I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't need it right now, but maybe before taking on the Elite Four, I should get that. So I'll probably use all the rare candies that I have. I have four of them right now, and that's... I don't know if I have any in the PC, but I like to use those before taking on the Elite Four. Just so it saves me a lot more in the way of training time, because you get a lot more bang for your buck if you use them at a later level. I don't have the good rod, and you know what? <laughs> I am right at the place where I can get it, right? I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Sure, why not? All right, there we go. I got the good rod. It's a pretty good rod. I could have used that earlier, but I believe I can still get something here. I don't remember what, but I know I, I'm going to go for it. Actually, hold on. Let me lead with a Pokemon that can put things to sleep, like Goldenrod. All right, Goldenrod. It's up to you. All right, good rod. Here we go. Goldenrod using the good rod, right? I can just imagine him, like, sitting there fishing. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Okay, so this is... It's not technically... Like, I don't have this, but my rules do not allow me to use it, and it does count as a dupe, even though I obviously don't have it. It's just so I can't abuse that to get, like, really rare Pokemon. Okay, so that's number one. I might not even get anything here, but I think there's somewhere else I can fish. If I'm not mistaken, I think Pallet Town might have some stuff, too. I don't remember what I'm missing. I think I can still get Krabby here. Any day now. It's really a shame, because this if you use the uh, Super Rod here, you can sometimes get a Gyarados, I think. That's always a funny thing. Okay, Goldeen. Do I really not have a Goldeen? Did I get Sea King, or am I just imagining that? I actually don't remember. Um, I am looking right now on my list, 
And I don't see Sea King, so I guess we're just gonna have to assume I don't have it. A <laughs> level five Goldeen, though. That's pretty sad. But you know what? You're all I need in order to build up my Pokedex. Come on. Just hypnotize this thing. It's such a low level. Just by looking at you, you should be able to hypnotize it, right? Okay. So, let's see. What do I have for things? Let's use an Ultra Ball, because I'm running out of things to even use an Ultra Ball on. Seems like a waste, but really there are not very many things I can get. All right, well, we got Goldeen. That's wonderful. Okay, and yeah, we haven't had Sea King. Cool. So let me go ahead and take a look at my nickname list, and I will see you guys in just a moment. All right, you know what? We're going to name this thing Coral, because, you know, it's kind of a color, I guess. Like a, well, I don't know. I know it's also of Coral, but yeah. It was on my list, so it's got to be listed as a color somewhere. I frankly don't care, because I don't think I'm going to be using that thing at all. Sorry, but there are several other water types I would definitely use before you. Oh, shoot. Now, where the heck is that aid? I don't think he's here, come to think of it. Oh, man. He's got to be... Where is he? Maybe... Maybe over... Wait, there isn't one over here, is there? Yeah, wait, there is. I feel like that's where I got it, though. I'm going to go track him down, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Well, it's not this guy over there, so I thought I've already been over here. Shoot, now where is he? Okay, I think I found him. He's on Route 16. All right, hi, remember me? All right, so let's see. Yeah, 40 species. Great, so I have the amulet coin. Well, I should have it. All right, nice. Great. Yeah, that'll be helpful to earn some money, or at least a little bit of extra money. I can use it while training. Right now, I have 218,000, so that's actually pretty good. I could afford quite a few TMs. If I can get up to 240,000, I should be able to afford, like, three Ice Beams, basically. Because I think they are 4,000 points each? Something like that. All right, anyway, let's head back on over to Cinnabon Island. C Cinnabar Island. And, yeah, we're going to be using Turquoise and Tan in this fight. I mean, that's basically all there is to it. I just have to hope it'll be enough. All right. Oh, wait, something very important. Something very important, okay? Because otherwise I'm going to get called out on this. I do have burn heal, okay? We're we're good. We're good. We don't we don't need to buy any. I I have burn heal. We're okay. Nothing to worry about. I got burn heal. Alright, let's see. Yo, champ of the making, the hot-headed blatant is a fire Pokemon Pro. Douse the spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too. Yeah, I'd better, huh? Okay, so do I care about fighting the trainers here? I really don't. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Yes. That is correct. All right. Yeah, it's kind of nice that you don't really have to fight anyone. Well, you can get around fighting them for the most part. Okay, let's see. So... There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No, 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 no! Definitely not. All right. What do we got over here? Okay. Do you want to consider? Yeah, I got it. Uh, Poliwag evolves three times. Well, <laughs> I mean, not really. It has three different evolutions, but they kind of branch off. So yeah, that one's kind of a trick question. Well, sort of. It has three evolutionary stages, but it itself only evolves twice. Well, technically, it only evolves once. It's Poliwhirl who evolves. Okay, so... Are electric moves effective against ground-type Pokemon? Well, if you throw water at them or activate the sprinklers or aim for the horn, then yes. But otherwise, no, they're not. 
Okay, see, I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so smart! Alright, what do we got over here on this mystery machine? Okay, Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Uh, yes, that's correct. Because of natures, because of individual values, things of the sort. Okay, what do we got here? Pokemon quiz. Okay, I think this might be the final one, right? Uh, TM28 contains Tombstony. No, it doesn't! It does not! I know from back in the day, TM28 contains Tombstoner. Nice job, though. Nice job trying to trick me on that one. Ha! <laughs> you thought you could... Wait, oh no. Do I have to do this again? Uh, no. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, I wonder if you have to fight the guy. If you get the question right, and then get it wrong. Oh man, here we go! It's time to fight against Blaine! So... Yeah, I think it's just gonna be Turquoise here. Tan does have Dig, just in case. Which I guess would be nice, but I'd rather not have to rely on that. Uh, otherwise, I do have some options elsewhere. But, yeah, I think Turquoise will be able to handle things. Okay, here we go! Ha! I am Blaine, the Red Hot Leader of Cinnabar Gym! My fiery Pokémon are all rough and ready with intense heat! They incinerate all challengers! Ha! You better have Burn Heal! Oh man, here we go! It's time to fight Leader Blaine with his Growlithe! Okay, yeah, I don't care if I'm intimidated right now. Surf should be more than enough to take this thing out. At least I really hope so, otherwise we're gonna have a bit of a problem. It's really the big ol' Arcanine that I'm worried about, but I think he has a Ninetales too. Yeah, his team's way different than it is in Yellow. I know Yellow was actually kind of an interesting one. I think he had Ninetales, Rapidash, and Arcanine. And this he just has, like, two weaklings. Like, really weak. Like, level 40 Ponyta? What? Alright. Oh, he has a Rapidash. He doesn't have Ninetales. So I guess he has Ninetales in yellow. That must be what I'm thinking of. Alright, I just want a nice clean sweep here. Very good. Oh, nice crit. It's possible that might have mattered, actually. Okay, now this thing is probably going to take more than one hit. The big dog. Oh, thank goodness I have a water type. You know, I'll be perfectly honest. I would have been terrified of this gym. Oh, nice job. I would have been absolutely terrified of this gym had it not have been for, you know, bringing Turquoise onto the team. Like, not having a water type is very bad news here. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the volcano badge. Okay, that was a little easy. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too! Great, I got TM38! Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique! Don't waste it on water Pokémon! Ah, uh, well what if I want to teach it to a slow bro, huh? <laughs> oh man, alright, well that was definitely a wash. Good job, Turquoise, okay? Very good job. You know, usually if you have a Water-type Pokémon, you're in decent shape for Blaine, but yeah, it's not even a guarantee. So Turquoise just did really good. I tell you, Turquoise is probably one of those Pokemon that just really surprised me at how hard he hits, like seriously. That's pretty crazy. Okay, now there's something really important coming up here, and I know you guys are gonna be mad about this, but I have made my decision from when I even started this series, to be honest. Alright, so here we go. Huh? Hey, if it isn't color! Look, it's me, Bill! Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? So, I did not actually realize this until I don't even know when 
definitely after the Fire Red and Leaf Green Sleep Lock that I did way back. You can say no, and you don't have to do Sevi Islands. At least one island, two island, and three island, as far as I know. I've never actually said no here. I've usually gone there, but I personally do not like Sevi Islands. I think they're boring. I don't think there's much interesting things that come out of it. The storyline is a little weak. It felt very forced. And worst of all, you can't use the PC while you're there, and you can't really leave either. So that makes it very complicated when you're dealing with a Nuzlocke or a Wedlock challenge in case someone dies. Like, if you heal, then you revive Pokemon that were fainted. There's no way to just heal individual Pokemon. You're kind of then limited to your power points if something dies. And it's not like anything's really that tough. There's just things that explode more. So, I know there may have been some of you that were looking forward to this. I do not like this part of the game, so I'm just going to say no. What? Are you too busy? Well, all right, the boat has, hasn't arrived yet anyway. I'll be ready, waiting at the Pokemon Center over there. Okay, so I don't think I have to do Sevi Islands. I've heard that I don't. So, yeah. Um, if I do, so be it. I have to do it. If I do don't, then I guess next up, we're going to the gym, but I do want to train up. Not really so much for the gym itself, because I think Turquoise will be able to do just fine there as well, but I think it will be a little bit more difficult because things there hit hard. Yeah, um, let's see. So can I just go into the gym? Is is it locked? Is it is it ready to go? Yeah, you can just go in there. So... Yeah, it looks like that's totally a thing. So sorry if I'm disappointing you guys by not going to Savvy Islands. I just don't like them. I really don't. They are optional, as you can see. I prefer Fire Red and Leaf Green as just kind of, you know, a remake, an enhancement of the originals. I feel like, you know, the islands, I don't know. They just, I find them kind of boring. So, yeah, we're going to skip them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but it, I don't know. It's just, it's not something I find fun. Uh, it just doesn't really do it for me. So next up, we have to fight against Giovanni. And I believe after a little bit of training, we'll be doing that in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. See you next time, everyone.